and loves. Today I decided to film a look that I have really, really been loving. And it's just an all matte eye. So there's a little bit of it if you can see how that works. And I did use my Lorac Pro Palette. I think I used just this, but... If it's different, I'll let you know during the tutorial because if you don't know, the Lorac Pro does have, like, the whole top row is all matte shadows. And I love just all matte looks. I think that they are gorgeous. And then since I use like, a mauve color on my lid, I decided to go with a purple lip. And that is Riri Boy by MAC, which is from Rihanna's MAC collection. So I'm really loving this, and it is also a matte lip. So as if I haven't said the word matte enough, this is a completely matte look. So if you don't like stuff like this, I'm really sorry. Um, it's just kind of what I wanted to do today. So that's all I really have to say. And let's just get started. As always, I'm going to use my favorite eyeshadow primer. And that is Urban Decay's Primer Potion. I'm using this all over my lid and up onto my brow bone. For my first eyeshadow, I'm going into my Lorac Pro Palette and taking the color mauve, which is obviously a mauve color, so it's purpley brown, and I'm just keeping this on my lid, not going above my crease. And now I'm just taking my large blending brush and I'm going to blend out the edges. Going back into my Lorac Pro Palette, I'm using the color taupe which is a lighter matte brown shade and this like precise kind of blending brush and I'm putting that right into my crease. And now of course just blending that out. I'm going to blend after every eyeshadow that I use for this look. And now going into my Naked Basics palette, I'm taking the color Faint, which is just a little bit of a darker colored brown. And I'm using a very small blending brush and putting this right on the outer corner of my eye and just a tiny bit up into the crease. And of course, blending that out. Blending is always important, but it's definitely really important with matte colors because they can tend to stick and it doesn't look cute. And now I lost a little bit of that mauve color that I originally put on my eyelid, so I'm just touching that up. Now again, using my Lorac palette, I'm taking the color cream and putting this in my inner corner to really brighten it up. And then I'm also using it for my brow bone highlight. And of course, I'm gonna do some more blending since I just added another color. Now I'm just using my Maybelline gel liner in the color Blackest Black to tightline my upper lash line and my Maybelline line stiletto also in the color Blackest Black to do my normal wing liner. I'm just showing you a little bit of it here because I have a full tutorial on my wing liner and tight lining I will link below. And now this is just my Sephora eyelash curler and my Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara in Blackest Black. I'm putting a light coat of mascara on my top and bottom lashes. So this is the finished eye look, and now we can move on to the lips. For lip liner, I'm using a nude lip liner, and it is L'Oreal's Color Rich Lip Liner, and it's called Beyond Pink, but it's seriously just nude. And for my actual lip color, I'm using this beautiful purple color. It's called Riri Boy. It's from MAC. It's from Rihanna's new summer collection in her Riri Hearts MAC collection. And I thought that the purple really complemented the purple in the eye, like the mauve color. So that's why I wanted to go with that. And I don't know, I've been loving this lipstick so much lately. So this is the finished look. I have really been in love with matte eyeshadow looks. I'm not sure why, but I've been obsessed. And I think that the matte lip goes really, really nice with it. So... If you like matte shades and you like doing things with matte colors, I know that you're going to love this when you try it on yourself. 
So if you have any questions, if you have any comments or anything, leave them down below. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And I love you guys so much. Mwah.